This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-350 Crew Cab dual rear wheel truck. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. It has extremely low miles, 108,786 miles. It was a new car dealer trade-in in the very rich Tony area of Los Gatos. I worked there as a kid. Um, they have like a Jaguar dealership next to a Jaguar dealership, that type of area, which kind of explains the condition of this truck. It probably lived its life indoors at night. Um, certainly looks like it. Um, anyway, uh, it was sold to us on a green light, which means guaranteed mechanically. And with a 3.9 CR, which is a condition report on a one to five disc scale. I think that's really low, but on a truck, a diesel truck, an 06, that's like a perfect score i mean i don't know how they came didn't come up with a five but uh it's amazing anyway my job in this video is to uh actually point out what's wrong which is going to take some doing because there's not a lot going on i think i saw a ding over the rear wheel on the other side on the bedside other than that not much um here's your remote locked unlocked all right i'm gonna fire this guy up so we can walk around it look under the hood 108,814 is the current mileage and let's see boom, boom, boom. there you go this thing is gorgeous and yes I had to pay for it but when I saw this thing and I knew the area it came from I knew it would be this and it was exactly this <laughs> exactly what I thought it was gonna be um, okay First thing first, uh, looking around here, everything looks fantastic. There's a board stamp there on the core support, here on the core support, on the hood. There's one on the board, uh, board stamp on the hood, so you got the original hood. Core support's original, cat stickers where they belong. This is important. Blow by. Let's see how much we got, if any. I'll bet we have none. None. <laughs> yeah. Now, when I bring these things in, I always put them on our four post drive on lift, put them up in the air and pressure spray them so that they're really clean underneath. And I leave them up there overnight to see if there's any drippage. There was nothing. It was actually almost didn't need to be pressure sprayed, but um, I did anyway. Anyway, the tires, BFGs. I mean, the tread's like brand new. I think it's the bottom of the trailer too. All four shocks are Bilstein, are new Bilsteins. And it's got an upper stabilizer strut. Upper sta stabilizer strut is also uh, a brand new uh, Bilstein. Very cool stuff. I have no idea why you would sell this other than, other than you, uh, need space in your garage or something you'll never find this truck again <laughs> this is uh this is a uh lock the door over there had it locked this is a unicorn this is a real unicorn um it has air suspension also i'll show you where the air fill is on it you will never see a truck like this literally a dually that's not all crashed in and beat up very rare there's your locks Seat forward, seat back, seat up, down, rear seat up and down, front up and down. This is a beautiful truck, man. So anyway, here's uh, here's how it was sold to us. So there's the last 11 of the VIN. The, the machine cut it off, but there's the last 11 of the VIN with the miles cut off. It's 108, 785 when I bought it. Um, Green, green light, buyer protection conditions. Uh, it was sold in Los Gatos to Crosscut. Um, this is the actual condition report. Uh, 108,000 miles your VIN, 108,000 miles, 3.9 CR. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, we, all this stuff is scanned in, by the way. Um, actually, I think this is scanned in. I, don't, I think this is scanned in, this is not. I'll see if I can get that done today. Um, here's the uh, auto check vehicle history. There's your VIN. They give it a score of 83, which is fantastic for an 06. That's really high. Um, 
there's no checks for anything. Um, no accident reports, no odometer report. Um, Gilroy, Sunnyvale, blah, blah, blah. That's that. It's uh, excellent. Seats are in great shape. Let's see if I can do this one-handed here. There you go. <laughs> There's a remote for the uh, Sony stereo, still on the wrapper. And uh, that's uh, Apple CarPlay, which I have my phone on right now. Uh, there's your manual, there's your wheel lock key, all the stuff you'd expect in a car that looks brand new. Crazy car. This is really cool. I'm excited for whoever gets this truck. This is going to be, save you tens of thousands of dollars and uh, over buying a new one. God, tens of thousands, many tens of thousands. Boy, there's nothing going on here, by the way. The rear tires. Boom. There's a Bilstein shock on this side that's new. Um, oh, you can see the air ride, too. Right there. Okay. And the lines for the air ride meet up right. Let's see, right there. There's your... <laughs> Boy, if they ever did fifth wheel, they never dropped the hitch on the bed. It looks great. Bumper looks great. Everything looks great. This truck's amazing. I'm not sure how you come up with a 3.9 instead of a 5. I could have sworn I saw a ding somewhere. Hold on. There it is. Right there. Like I said, my job is to find, tell you what's wrong. It gets pretty boring when you're around a car that's like this. But, uh, yeah. I would say the rears are probably 70-80% tread. The fronts look like they're brand new. Let's get the roof real quick. About what you'd expect. All right. Window. 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 Mirrors out. In up down other side out in up down door locks okay power seat forward and back up down tilt up and down rear up and down tilt wheel there's your power pedals up and down windshield wipers this truck is cool ac's blowing in here i turned it on before i started it and it's cold we're about 80 today i think um like i said we have carplay so and they actually hooked it up the volume to the steering controls what i don't know is if they did this yes they did they changed the songs too off the controls fan up and down from the controls, temperature up and down from the controls, and manually, temperature up. Alright, there you go. Let's see, boom, navigation, Gardner Lane, that's where we are. That's us right there, Gardner Lane. Alright, tow on and off. window what else we got going on here we're gonna go to neutral we're gonna go to four low we're on four low see where it says low range four by four we drive that's definitely granny gear let's see in reverse there's your backup camera god damn this truck is very nice now we're gonna go to four high low range goes away we go to drive we go to reverse in four high. There's your back camera again. Neutral. All right, let's do a little uh, check up here. Engine temp okay. Transmission temp okay. Oil pressure okay. 
brake fluid level okay, all doors closed, air filter okay, 89 miles to empty, system check complete. Okay, there you go. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this bad boy home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee. Uh, once we uh, receive your payment from out of state by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, scan it into your online file and mail it to you. We would scan in the envelope we mail it in. You will have the truck shipped to you. The title will be in the mailbox before the truck shows up by shipper. And uh, I'm gonna take you out to I-10. I was gonna turn right there, but let's go to I-10 and drive it on the interstate. Um, by the way, we just paved this road in two rainstorms and we're filling gigantic potholes. Uh, <laughs> I, I think we need East Coast road builders here because if you guys built roads here on the East Coast guys, we would never have a pothole. We get 10, ounces of, 10 inches of rain a year and we have potholes and no snow. Anyway, God, this thing is bad ass, man. This is such a nice truck. Um, Anyway, uh, if you are gonna pay by wire and ship, if you need help with shipping, let me know at the time of purchase. Um, if uh, you need help, I can help you ship it. I can do it for you. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the truck. Um, or you're welcome to do it yourself, whatever. Um, deposit's $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Uh, once we have that deposit, it will no longer be for sale. Until then, it will be for sale, all right? Um, Last part of every video, I say the same thing every time. We don't have sales. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy lounge to hang out in and eat scones served by an attendant. They've got all that at the auto mall, which is a mile east of us. And uh, there, you have to pay for that by paying a fortune for the vehicle you're buying. You don't from us. Our uncle lends us our property for a dollar a year, okay? He's loaded and he doesn't care. So we don't have salesmen to pay. We don't have... Uh, you know location fee to pay uh, we don't really have hardly any of the overhead that they have so when you see our crazy prices that are low that's why including this truck if this truck were at a new car dealership in the auto mall here in Tucson it'd be 30 <laughs> easily um, especially after watching today's Las Vegas auction Mannheim auction holy cow yeah this truck would definitely be 30 there um, but uh, we just uh, want you to know that when they sell you a vehicle, they charge you that much because they know also that if something happens or something breaks in the vehicle and you bring it in, they're gonna have to fix it because they made every penny they possibly could out of you, plus some. Well, we don't. We give you the savings up front uh, because we can't afford to be in the business of fixing sold vehicles. So when, like every vehicle on I-10 that we're about to get on, uh, when this vehicle, like every one of them, regardless of how new they are, they all will break. Um, we're expecting you to use the money you save buying from us to fix your truck. It's not ours anymore, it's yours. Now, if that doesn't work for you, let's get a divorce before we get married because we're not writing checks for things. That being said, uh, we have a no blow by truck, one owner from Los Gatos. Looks fantastic, drives fantastic, I wish this guy was a little bit faster up in front of us, but it is what it is. He's, you know, this is also a speed trap there. This is, we just got on the Prince Road exit. This is Ruthroff here, and the cops love to be right in between these two. So, in a way, I kind of get why he's doing the speed he's doing, because A, it's the speed limit, 65 right here, and uh, C, and B, he doesn't want to get a ticket. So, that's all right. Anyhow, uh, beautiful truck. But we just like to make sure that people know how we operate. Now, we also, uh, if you read our ad, you'll see that you can get a vehicle, uh, the Bullproof EGR cooler and the Ford oil cooler, new gaskets and coolant and oil and everything done for 2,900, okay? We offer that only to the people who buy vehicles from us and have that concern about, that's the thing that people are always concerned about. Now this is an 06 and clearly babied, so it really doesn't need that. Uh, unless you plan on not taking care of it like the previous owner did, um, at which time, you know, you might want to. If you're, you know, if you're going to change the oil regularly and the coolant regularly, 
I, you, you could go a million miles without doing the bulletproof EGR cooler. Uh, but if, uh, you know, it's a smoking price, if you were to look around and see what it costs to shop to do that, it's a lot more than $2,900. Um, now, if you buy it and then change your mind and decide, oh, I want to bring it back next week and get it, uh, then it's going to be five grand. Okay, this is just to make people not a less nervous about that part of a 6.0. Um, that being said, if I own this thing, I wouldn't do that. All right, because the zero blow by, unbelievable uh, attention to detail by the previous owner, obviously. Um, take care of it and it'll be fine. Um, but, like, but the other part of it is though, is that it's really cheap to do that. Um, we are thinking about sometime this summer changing that price because labor's gone way up on that um, to uh, probably 3,500, uh, which is still smoking deal. But, uh, but uh, you know, if you're interested in doing that, our shop is about a week and a half, two weeks out on that. So, you know, from the day you buy it, expect that to be done and bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler on it, uh, if that's what you want us to do. Um, expect eh, at least seven to 10 days um, so that you're not, you know, overexcited about how long it's taking. It's just uh, very few excellent mechanics in the world and they're very busy. But uh, anyway, I guess uh, according to my brother, our, our SD cards, smart cards or whatever that work in this phone and uh, work in this phone, work in this GoPro, um, only go for 17 minutes and 38 seconds. So when this video ends at 17 minutes and 38 seconds, I didn't die in a car wreck. <laughs> the truck didn't explode, it just ended. The video ended, which always kind of happens right in this little same stretch. So I must have to same talk going on here i don't know usually i'm not as excited about vehicles as this but uh, i really 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 like this one all right so i might have to find a place indoors for this for the night or for the whole time we own it which might not be very long anyway there's only about 15 seconds to go in the video it's absolutely an outstanding truck um if you need a uh, a dually and you don't want to spend 100 grand for a lariat. Here it is. Thank you for your time.